I want to get right into today's video as we have the most beautiful photo shoot that I want to show you guys as much of as possible where it was golden hour but it started raining. Oh my god, I'm so so excited to share these photos with you guys today. So first up I'm taking photos with the Sigma. Oh, it's just a leaf. <laughs> I had a spider on me so before. I think Same. So oh, it's freaking me oh, out. <laughs> That's cool. Beautiful. Do you want to flick all your hair like over? Yeah. So not only do we have a fun, creative photo shoot, but today I'm also comparing the Sigma 35mm f1.2 lens to the new Sony G Master 35mm f1.4. I'm using them both on a Sony a7 III body each with all the same settings, including focus settings and white balance. And then now I'll take some photos on the Gmail star. You might notice that the white balance changes a bit throughout the shoot, and that's not because of the lenses, but the clouds in the sky that were quickly changing the lighting from golden hour to overcast, so please keep that in mind when looking at the unedited photos. Maybe if you want to see it, oh, there's like a bit of sunlight just here. And maybe you can bring your right leg like up kind of like that. So you're sitting like almost half cross-legged, <laughs> oh, like out. Yeah, but like with your foot in. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My words are just... No. <laughs> I want to start off with some similarities I noticed between both lenses. First of all, they are both beautifully sharp, as you can see in the 100% unedited view of the photos I'm taking. You can see so many details and beautiful textures from both lenses. And then maybe you could like hug one of your knees. Yes, I like that, I like that. God, the light is so pretty right here. That is crazy. Oh, I like that, that's cool. Okay, Sigma time. <laughs> it's getting carried away with the G Master. <laughs> The bokeh and depth of field are really similar as well. Even though they are both different apertures, the Sigma is an f1.2 and the G Master is an f1.4. When you're shooting on location like this, you can't really see a big difference between the depth of field. I have shots from both lenses with absolutely dreamy, creamy backgrounds and also found that the bokeh looked really clean in both lenses. I'm gonna get in for like a headshot. I'm gonna show you. This. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a close-up shot. Oh, it's raining again. <laughs> can, we, can we have your arms out in front so we can see? Yeah. yeah. The fat brain drop. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of performance, I would say we had one of the hardest natural light situations for a camera and lens to focus in. We had golden hour backlight, raindrops, and the wind making Annie's hair fly everywhere, but both lenses were like, meh, this is fine, and both performed really well. But this also does bring me to the differences I noticed while shooting with both lenses. All right, love it. I don't know how I'm gonna pick those. <laughs> They're so pretty. <laughs> 
I can't see them in my shots, but like those are really nice. Whoa. Yeah, I really like these. Like, oh, they're so cool. It's like it's like another picnic vibe again, you know, with like the crochet <laughs> top. <laughs> While both lenses had some out-of-focus photos, I found that there were more unexplained out-of-focus images from the Sigma. With the G Master, a photo would usually be out-of-focus if Annie did a quick movement that I wasn't ready for, and the same goes for the Sigma, but there were also moments on the Sigma lens where it would decide to focus on her shoulder or her hair, and there would be a small succession of photos completely out of focus before I had to re-trigger the autofocus to focus again. All right, and then I think right over there. It's so pretty. It's really good, yeah. Oh, 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 let's try and get us like a raining shot. Maybe if you stand here in like the sunny uh, bit. Let me see. Oh my God, yes, it looks so amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so dreamy. I'm getting so wet, but this is worth it. <laughs> I like beautiful. No, it doesn't feel. It looks amazing. Doesn't feel that amazing. Okay, so at this point I get a little bit distracted by the amazing weather and lighting we're having here, so my comparison images aren't shot perfectly from the same distance, I hope you guys can forgive me. I was just so excited with this light. And after this set I get it together and the comparison images are back to being more similar to each other. Uh, I love little like moments like this that you don't plan for. It's very cool. <laughs> Oh, thunder. Good. Good that one. <laughs> Imagine just like a giant lightning strike <laughs> behind you. <laughs> Sorry. How dramatic. <laughs> um, we'll go down there so we don't have so many trees in the background. I'm going to get like a wider shot with the rain. I spoke about this in my Sigma 35 f1.2 review video as well, that this lens is slightly slower in autofocus performance than what I'm used to shooting with, and I found that again on this day, especially having a native lens side by side to compare it with. This isn't a huge issue, it's only very slightly slower, but it was enough for me to notice while I'm trying to capture a quick moment during a photo shoot where there is so much going on. So if you stand maybe just behind those little bushes. Yeah. Oh my God, these look so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm so paranoid. <laughs> Honestly, in the end, both lenses are absolutely amazing to be completely honest with you guys. The Sigma is such a fun lens and I love the f1.2 aperture. The main downside for me with this is the weight of the lens, it's pretty heavy. And the G Master is of course a great lens as well, you guys would have heard my opinions in my review video of that lens. I'm still patiently waiting to get my copy of it so I can use it more often, I really can't wait for it to arrive. And even with the minor performance differences, I was able to capture some beautiful photos with both lenses. I wasn't going to let anything get in the way of me and taking some photos in this incredible lighting. Oh, someone must want to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, some, if you like kind of shake your head to get your hair to fly around a little. Get some really cool movement ones. You can even like close your eyes if you want for those. Yeah, that's cool. You know, like heaps in the moment, you know? Oh, 
Oh, I'll get like a quick close up here as well. Okay, I'm gonna have 10 bajillion photos at it. That was so pretty. <laughs> This was such a fun shoot and I'd love to know what you guys think of the photos and the lenses down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single week so I will see you guys all next time. Bye!